Okay. Uh, another question I think from Bronwyn Cook here, but um, she asks, why are birds declining? and specifically why the house sparrow is declining. And that's a question which, frankly, has been puzzling just about anybody who's interested in wildlife of any kind. I mean, m there are so many things which are declining, and the reason is fairly obvious. Unfortunately, it's the loss of the habitats, let's take um, in, uh, in Britain, the farmland, which used to have lots of weeds and, and, and lots of trees and ditches and sometimes have been cleaned up and, and pesticides used on it and so on and so forth. It's getting better. It's not, that for, it's not the farmer's fault, but um, they now are getting a lot better and they're beginning to um, get quite proud. I know some farmers are very proud of what they've got on their land, but that does tend to be one of the, the biggest problems. Um, but the house sparrow one is a bit of a mystery because the facts of the matter are, especially in London <coughs> and a few other the cities, mainly in the south of England, um, house sparrows have plummeted. You know, 30, 40 years ago, every park would have house sparrows. You'd go out to food and they'd all come down. There lots of house sparrows. Even around here, that was like that. But nowadays, I haven't seen a house sparrow in this garden for 10, 20 years. And I don't know of anywhere around here where I could take you and actually guarantee showing you a house sparrow. Um, and it's generally thought, and a certain amount of work's been done on this, that this is because they can't find the soft food which their babies need. Because house sparrows have sort of little parity beaks, right? And they're made for cracking seeds and that. So the adults would be all right with that. But the babies, like any babies of any kind, need soft food. And they're not finding the soft caterpillars, the little insects. So it almost certainly is the shortage of insects within these cities that is affecting the birds. The only thing slightly against that, or slightly puzzling considering that, is that I've been all around the world and seen house sparrows <coughs> in cities from Hong Kong to Los Angeles to um, Buenos Aires to New York and I can't believe that those cities are actually less polluted than London but house sparrows have spread not naturally usually on boats or something like that but they have spread and are very successful in other parts of the world. And I suppose the good thing about that is you can say, as long as we're not being sort of selfish and saying we want all the house sparrows in England, we can still say there are house sparrows all over the place.